Rick and I had a major disagreement about I Want You to Want Me. His story is that after they left the studio and went on, on tour or something, I put the tack piano on the studio version of I Want You to Want Me. And I said, my recollection was you were sitting on the couch when we did that piano part. And, you know, you being Rick. And um, I remember when I turned to them and said, what about this? What Do you like this? And, and Rick said, you're the producer. So I figured, well, hey, I can do stuff here. So he was complaining about about the song, which they completely changed. Obviously, they, you know, but I uh, treated it as a dance hall song, which it was. I put on, I put, I, I snapped fingers on that song. You don't snap fingers if you're, you know, you don't put finger snaps on a Zeppelin song. So then they changed it completely, which was good. It was good. It worked, you know, but, but I won't, I don't, I don't have any contact with them. I have contact with Bunny, but I know I have no contact with Robin or Tom or or or, or Rick. Uh, and I was, you know, I was not close with Rick, but I knew his family. And as I said, our kids trick or treated together one time in L.A. And he was over at the house, and my wife was at there, and my wife knew his wife, and so on. Anyway, I, I you know, I'm, I'll, I'll never. Uh, I'll never see him again. Mm. And I've seen him for like 40 years. It's, it's, it's a shame. Shame. 